from Silk, we're heading back to dry land and taking a trip to Glendora in California to go riding with America's very own Speed Demons. When it comes to conquering mountain passes at breakneck speed, most thrill seekers know they're limited to a choice of either pedal power or horse power. But now there's a new force on the road. And for one extreme group of riders, it's gravity that holds more than just a physical attraction. The feeling of riding a gravity bike is pretty much unbelievable. Um, it, it's like owning your own roller coaster, and you get to steer it, and then you get bumped, and then all of a sudden your roller coaster changes. Gravity biking is taking the biggest, gnarliest technical hill you can find and just grab a couple of buddies and just you just go bomb it. You're going at speeds that, that a motorcycle would do down these hills on a BMX bike, and you have no engine. So, I mean, that, that should tell you that, oh, man, this is awesome. You know, it's, it's, it's just awesome. To the uninitiated, a gravity bike may seem little more than a modified scooter. But with the appliance of science, they've been developed into a class of their own. Well, you know, a gravity bike is basically a broken down BMX bike. Take off the cranks, take off the pedals, uh, put something in there to put your knees on, put some pegs on the back, drop your handlebars down, and you got a gravity bike. We took a step back and used the gravity uh, to our advantage, some aerodynamics, and we are between 65 and 75 miles an hour every race, and that's screaming fast for a bicycle. A 20-stop competitive circuit currently sees over 80 registered riders competing across four continents, with events spanning the globe from Scotland to South Africa. Our competitions usually last between a uh, quarter of a mile to about two miles. And two miles is fun. There's a lot of uh, room for mistakes and a lot of passing going on. The turns, they can average between 20 to 40 miles an hour. So yeah, it gets, it gets pretty good because you're racing on bikes that weren't built to go that fast. And we're taking them that fast. We're just pushing the envelope, pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. And which is it's just, you know, an adrenaline rush. That's, that's what I love about it. With up to six riders at a time competing side by side in races, adrenaline is the name of the game, which means there's always going to be an element of rough and tumble. As far as I'm concerned, if somebody bumps me, um, they better expect me to come right back and hold my line because I will not back down from anybody. There's two kinds of gravity bikes, ones that have gone down and ones that are going down. But come competition time, aggression doesn't necessarily translate into victories. And it can often take more than just attitude to reach the top of this sport. I think what's really important in this sport is to be really mentally focused. And when you're racing against the top guys in the world, just breathing wrong can set you up to where you're not exactly where you need to be. It only takes one tiny mistake, one instant, to have it be all over for you. I can be in a race, finish line's coming up, and I'm just mentally just struggling with myself to keep my fingers off the brakes. And you so badly want to hit those brakes to be safe around that turn, and you know you have to do it, you have to do it. It's about just keeping a real clean line, staying smooth, because the fastest point between A and B is a straight line, that's the way to do it. In a sport where you're battling as much against friction and the forces of nature as you are against your opponents, there's no such thing as an easy ride. Yeah, it gets pretty hairy out there. You know, guys really want to win. They want to win bad. My first year out, I, uh, they call me Mad Mac because I went down seven times. And uh, uh, my first race I'd ever gone to, couldn't hold it. Steering wheel snapped. I flew over the handlebars at 65 miles an hour and went into a mad tumble. And uh, next thing I know, I'm kissing hay bale and pulling straw out of my teeth and trying to get back in it. And the guys are like, whoosh, 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 whoosh. Now, that was day one. It's just like uh, super bike racing. Uh, you're hitting turns that... 40, 50 miles an hour, um, straightaways between 60 to 75. So yeah, it gets pretty, pretty dangerous, especially when you, you go out and if you hit some dirt, a rock, whatever, you're over the cliff and, you know, God be with you. <laughs> While gravity bikes may never reach Olympic status, the sport did make a brief appearance at the Summer X Games two years ago and is continuing to grow in popularity. I think the future for gravity bikes is going to be really huge. We're going in a lot of directions. Uh, we're working on putting together a junior league, and that way we can open up the sport to young guys. And that's really where the future of any sport is. The sport is, is very widespread, but right now it has a loose skeleton. It's just picking up, and once it starts, it just keeps going.